Electoral materials have arrived here at the Electoral Commission office in Ejusu, signifying the EC's readiness ahead of um, Tuesday's by election. Over 100,000 people are expected to vote in 204 voting centers to elect the next member of parliament for Ejusu. We have every material in our disposal and at dawn we will be distributing them to the various centers. So there wouldn't be the issue of delays. We have our distribution plan that we are following. And I must tell you, by 6 o'clock, every center we have gotten is material. And so there wouldn't be any delays. Campaigns are now over, and both electorate and candidates appear geared up for the voting day. The Electoral Commission is assuring the Ejusu constituent of conducting an election devoid of mistrust. As a commission, we are going to demonstrate to the general public a system that is so transparent and so verifiable that in the end of the exercise, the results that will be declared will be a true reflection of the desire of the people who voted. And to the candidates, I'm just advising them to also trust the system and provide agents who are very effective, who knows the processes and who can defend their rights. It's not just bringing anyone who is noisy or loud and you think we have a good agent. It should be an agent who can differentiate between 69 and 96. Six candidates, including a former member of parliament for the area, now contesting on an independent ticket, Kobna Ousu Ebiomi, New Patriotic Party's Kobna Boatin, Convention People's Party Esther Osei, Liberal Party of Ghana Beatrice Boache, and two others will battle it all out. By 5 p.m. on Tuesday, constituents would have decided on who replaces the late Dr. John Kuma and represents the people of Ejusu in Parliament. Ibrahim Abubakar, TV3 News, Ejusu, Ashanti Region.